welcome back to another video if you're new to my channel welcome for this video i'm going to be doing something a little bit different i'm going to be showing how you can make your own press on nails using half cover tips now this is something that has been shown before on youtube i actually got this idea originally from femi beauty and years ago she made videos where she showed how you can use builder gel and half covered nail tips to make your own nails and so i'll insert some pictures from a few years ago where i used that method and these are how some of my designs look Looked, but I decided to use it again because I saw these new extra extra long coffin nail tips that are like super tapered and perfect like you don't have to go in and do any filing so I decided that I wanted to make some press on nails but I didn't feel like using builder gel so we're just going to be using the nail tips and base coat gel so we'll see how they turn out but I'm starting off with these short full cover coffin nail tips and I'm just taking some nail clippers and just cutting those short nails down. So I'm just cutting them to where they're a little bit longer than my natural nails because they are pretty short. And once I have those cut down, I'm just going to press them onto the nail stand and then I'll continue on with the process. But I wanted to go ahead and do my feature comment. So thank you so much, Autumn Knight, for your comment on my previous video. I really appreciate it. And thank you for being first to comment. I think I'm going to start doing a mixture between first comments and then just some random comments so maybe next week i'll do random and just kind of go back and forth like that but yeah thank you for being first to comment i really do appreciate it also i'm curious to know what you guys think of my new intro i made it this past weekend using this app called impresso i saw someone's tiktok where they made a youtube intro using the app so i decided to like sign up for the free trial and make me a new intro because i felt like the one i had before was pretty basic so yeah let me know what y'all think i really love it i think it turned out super cute and looks nice and professional but i did make it myself and it was super easy to do so yeah if you have a youtube channel or you're thinking about making one i would highly suggest you use that app but yeah now to adhere the half covered nail tips to the full cover nail tips that i've cut down i'm going to be using base coat gel so i just put some inside of the nail i'm going to hold it onto the nail and then just hold it in front of the lamp to cure it into place you want to try to hold this nice and straight and sturdy just so it's not you know crooked or anything and i'm going to go on and do that for all of the nails and then i'll show the next steps Now that I have all of the nails together, I'm going to go in with this electric drill from Sube on Amazon and just file them down so that they're nice and smooth. This electric drill is super cute and it came with a bunch of sanding bands along with all of the different options of heads that you can put on the drill and then also a little duster brush and it's super affordable. I had a nail drill a while back but it was a super cheap one from AliExpress and it just didn't really work well but this one is super sturdy and it's it's still nice and small and cute with the color and everything but it goes so fast like of course there's different settings but it was super fast like even on the highest setting um so it really helped to do this type of nail design and i just used it to just file right along where the two nails meet and i'm just going to use my finger to just rub over it and once i feel that it's nice and smooth and it feels like one nail then i'll go on to the next step but i didn't want to leave too much filing in the video so i just showed me filing this one nail and then i'll go off camera and go ahead and file all of the rest of them then i'll check back in
Now that I have the nails filed, this is how they look. So I'm just going in and dusting them off a bit. And then I'm going to go in with some base coat gel to build them up. So I decided to use base coat gel instead of builder gel. And I got this idea from one of Christina Couture's videos. She did this a while back and she built up her nails using base coat gel and it actually worked. So I thought that this would be a good alternative to the builder gel. Just because builder gel for me can be kind of messy. So I didn't feel like doing that. But I would love to show you all how you can use was builder gel to do this so if you want to see that just let me know but yeah i'm just going to go in with three coats of the base coat gel and of course i'm going to cure in between each coat um if you're someone that's super crazy about having like a nice apex that's super high and perfect um then this might not be for you but for me it really doesn't matter i would say that the thickness of this is very similar to um, the gel type tips that we use whether you get them from you know couture a prey or um, aliexpress it's not super thick but it's also not too thin hopefully that makes sense so yeah i'm just going to go in with three coats of that and then also um something that i've seen a few different people use is either builder gel and then i think you know couture sells a product like this and maybe a prey too i can't think of the name that they use for it but it's basically when um you go behind the nail and add an extra layer maybe builder gel or whatever kind of gel you choose to use on the underside and that just makes it a little bit more sturdy especially when you're wearing you know long press on nails you might need something to help it to not like pop in half so that's definitely an option too you can go in on the underside of the nail like not going all the way down just the tip of the nail and kind of put builder gel or just something a little bit more sturdy behind it and that'll help it to you know have more of a structured feel and you know if you feel a little bit uncomfortable thinking that your nails might pop then you'll just have that extra security so that's definitely an option i didn't do this in this video of course because i don't um wear these nails for long when i make them for videos but if it was a set that i was going to wear then i would definitely do that i have some yeah, yogi builder gel that i've always used um i got it from aliexpress super cheap i want to say about three or four dollars so i feel like just taking a little bit of that and putting it behind the nail um would definitely help and i saw vanity vow do that so yeah um that's definitely an option but i believe this is the third and final coat so i'm just going to go in with that and cure it and then i'll be going in with my nail design Before I started recording, I was just playing around with some different blue gel polishes, trying out different marble effects. So I decided I wanted to do a blue marble for this design. I got a comment a while back saying that they missed my blue nail designs because I used to do blue designs all the time, but then I kind of stopped. But yeah, I'm back on the blue. Blue is my favorite color. So yeah, I really miss doing blue designs. So I'm just going to go in with this white gel polish as the base for my marble design. I'm not going to cure that in the lamp. I'm just going to go right in with my gel pots and my other gel polish color. So I'm just taking a small brush and just kind of putting the color in random spots, just doing little lines. And I want it to be thicker in some places and thinner in other places. And that just kind of helps with the marble look. And then also, when I initially put the colors down, how I kind of went in and did it in the same direction, I feel like that really helps the marble to look nice and cohesive also. 
so yeah i just went in and did that and then i'm gonna go in with this blue glitter color which is from a pine gel polish kit i just wanted to add some glitter and something to make it look a little bit more dimensional so yeah i'm just going in and moving that around and kind of thinning it out and then the last color that i'm going to go in with is the dark blue and i'm just going to put that in the spaces where i see too much white gel polish and then i'm going to go in and repeat these same steps on the middle finger as well I also wanted to mention that I'm going in and just wiping down the sides of the nail because I want to keep that nail shape. These nail tips are so perfect. So I wanted to make sure that I wasn't ruining the shape by how much gel polish I had for my marble design. So yeah, just going in and wiping it off can definitely help. But lately I've been feeling like I'm having a slight allergic reaction to some of the gel polish. So I really need to stop using my fingers to wipe off the sides of the nails. I was thinking about getting some gloves. So I do plan on going ahead and doing that so that I'm not always touching the gel polish. But yeah, I'm just going in and repeating those same steps and I'm going to cure them in the lamp. I wanted to add some more glitter to the design so I'm going in with this gel pot from AliExpress and I'm just putting that on the pointer finger. I'm staying towards the cuticle area and then I'm just kind of gradually fade it up the nail so that it's like an ombre to a glass tip. So yeah I'm just going to go in and add this glitter to this nail and then cure it in the lamp. I really love this dark blue color so I decided to just put that all over the thumb and then I'm going to go back over that nail with a little bit of bling. But I'm just going to do one coat of this because these gel pots are super pigmented so you don't really have to build the color up. So yeah I'm just going to go in with that one coat and cure that in the lamp.
I decided to add some foil to this design. I've been really into the nail foil lately. This foil is from the Vetsy Poly Gel Kit and I'm just adhering it using some base coat gel. So I put that on over the nail and then I'm just going in and placing the foil on the nail. I am trying to make sure that I cover up where you can kind of see where the two nails meet. And that's the only downside to this technique of making press on nails um, is that you will have that line. I've seen people make press on nails or extended press on nails using acrylic um, where they'll have like a short square nail tip and then use nail forms and build it with acrylic and you really can't see that line where the short nail tip ends but with using this method you can see it so yeah I just try to always make sure that I'm covering it up so I just use the foil to do that for this nail. For the thumb I'm adding some bling so I'm using these silver rhinestones and I just wanted to cover up on where you just saw me pointing when I was filing that nail. I kind of went in a little bit too much on one side so it is a slight dip in the nail so I figured I could just kind of fill that in with some bling. So I'm going to be adhering these rhinestones using some of the Ina Couture gummy jelly. So I put that on the nail. I'm going over it with top coat gel and then I'm just going to use my wax pen to place all of my stones. Once I finished right here in my rhinestones, I went in with this white gel polish and I did this because I wanted to incorporate some white into another one of the nails. But I really don't like the way that this nail turned out, but I did just go ahead and leave it as it was. At this point, it was like 1230 in the morning. I started recording super late, but while I was doing this, I realized that my camera app crashed. So in a panic, I went to the photos app and tried to find the video and it was nowhere to be found. I was ready to break down and cry at that point because I had been working on this for like an hour. Um, but luckily it popped back up and I was able to edit it and everything. So yeah, um, I really do love the way that this set turned out. I love these nail tips and I do plan on using this method again. I also want to get some of the square nail tips, um, not the C-curve ones, but those long square nail tips um, and try it out with that. Also, I think that would turn out really well. Um, but yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to my channel so that you never miss out when I upload. Bye!